Do you know the realm? Hello, and welcome to the Oz Fortress Season 27 Upper Bracket Final between No Older Gamers and Happy Feet. I am Dubious, joined by Rocky. Hey guys. And we have Core on production. Hello, Core. Looks like we're not going to have much time to get into the introduction. We're just about to start, and we're going live on STV. Uh, do you want to quickly take over this mid, Rocky? Okay, so we're probably going to see quite a passive initial middle. Typically teams like to just trade and go for a pick and play a player advantage, so we should see a whole lot of that. Don't expect too much from now. A lot of damage coming out from Enra. They're taking corner across. Also, apologies, I have just gotten home. That's alright. And I'm loading up TF2. Blue losing a lot of players here, so it's going to be an easy exchange for red. We're going to see them cap the point and likely do some sort of forward hold. Alright, happy for taking first mid. Uh, starting with Bagel instead of Snake Water, which is rather interesting. Yeah, we just had a scrim against them, so that we want to do it while it's fresh, I think. Mm -hmm. Most teams end up choosing the order of the map. Uh, we'll see an initial Uber in here. Ubers are traded, and will go down in this. Bad for all the gamers. Uh, Happy Feet are just going to end up chilling back on their side, yeah. Yeah, that dropping end of there is pretty disastrous, unfortunately. Equal this... Ubers for both teams, though. It's just going to be up to Happy Feet to run the clock down now. Absolutely. So this map is really all about the, the player advantages and exploiting the, um, the respawn clock. Well, yeah, because think... most fights can be in the same area. Respawns are really fast for the uh, aggressive team. And we'll see the high bomb in here now. Ooh, doesn't do too much. Ooh. Uh, Enrith wants to work across point though. We'll see the counter rush in here. I show defending. Uh, but they'll edge the point and cap it. Yeah, okay. No, all the game is pressuring Happy Fate out here. A Silver and Doge go down though in response. Yeah, they're gonna work back through. Once you've capped the point, it's a massive error, I think, dying. Because you can see that their respawns are so tremendously long. So, if you're the red team, all you need to do is play the player out and then just crush them, and then you've got retaking the point, uh, retaking the point for free. They've basically got no time off of it. So, really good for a copy. Yeah. Well, it's about, um, 4 seconds to 10 seconds, right? Like, it's, if you're yeah. defending, yeah. Much, much longer than the, the losing team. The, the team who doesn't have We'll see an Uber exchange here as well. Again! Lock and Enrith? Ball. Yeah, Enrith goes down. So, for no all the gamers, we have Lock on Med, Enrith playing demo, Hurts, Soldier, with Doge as the other Soldier. Probably Doge, Pock, where he just goes down now. And Silver and Cookie on Scout. Rather usual roster, both teams are, you know, they're bringing their A game. Yeah. Lao Medic, with Aisho and Elmo on Scout. Pretty Who is that on Demo? Which Demo? That's Redcoat, yeah? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. That's the usual Redcoat alias. Yeah, very typical. With then Yule and Down on Soldier. Yeah. Um, interestingly, I really like this upper position from Down. It's something that I think was added to the map recently. Oh yeah? But it yeah. allows like really, really interesting soldier soldier hold. But look, we'll see now all the gamers work across the point here. Uh yeah, no, Happy Fit are gonna defend with you. Enrith will go down. Locke's not in a position to get out. Okay, no, he'll force. All Red need to do here is survive and play this. But this is out. amazing escape, yeah. They just immediately jump out in response to the Uber. Happy Feet losing absolutely no one for that. Scout behind as well. Elmo will pick up Hurts. Now all the game is getting point back though. We'll see the slow walk across again. Happy Feet have their soldiers. Yeah, okay. Okay, interesting. We've seen a lot of uber trades and a lot of like point caps. However, we've seen almost no wipe and no no insane fights. No. It's all been about attrition and damage. Silver and Enrith will go down. It really is just games. about maximizing the player count against the enemy. If you get, mm. if you do get picks, like you do get injured, oh, the best thing you can do well. is just try and stay alive. This is really solid from Happy Feet. 10 seconds to 2 and 20. I think this is going to be the first round. It should be. No, all the game is probably being a favored team in this. Yeah, I'd say so. However, Koth makes things interesting. We'll see the Uber pop. Lock gets just in time. Yeah, They're going to pop flush. through. Amazing Scout error on the sky. They'll survive. Both scouts are behind. No, all the gamers here. But yeah, down's just going to clean up. Frenetic yeah. rounds, and first round will go to Happy Feet. I believe that uh, Happy Feet have been practicing this map very recently a lot, because this is a, a much greater performance than when we last versed them. Mm. Well, scrims are officials, right? You don't know how many how many teams like to uh <laughs> like to be uh 
Regardless, yeah. bagels, bagel for the longest time wasn't considered a good map or a fun map, and then it was put in the pool, so... I like it. I, I sort of do. I've always liked it. I, I said from day one, I sort of like this map, and then I hated it because I didn't know how to play it. Regardless, absolutely nothing happening on this mid yet. Both no. teams just chilling. They're just waiting for a edge. Yeah, of course, of course. Soldier aggression. Oh, right out might be. Yeah, okay. Doge will get picked up by Elmo. That's gonna be Happy Feet's response to move forward across point. Hertz will go down. Huge collapse. Ishu, yeah. Yeah, but this is not. They get forced. This is not gonna be a good Uber. Laos just gonna get out. Yeah, that's full Uber advantage for Happy Feet as well. Absolutely massive rotating that Uber there. Oh, and down picks up Lock as well on the flank and hurts. That's nuts. Yeah. Uh, that's in lobby. Yeah, they're just gonna have to back up now. The key takeaway though is that Red got the pick there. They play the player ad. They get the force due to that attrition, and they retain Uber. So this is gonna severely wear down the clock for uh, mm. Lock. I think the best thing they can do here is get the force and retain Lock, but it's, it might be hard. If Lock gets picked out here by the Uber, it would be a disaster. Hmm, for sure. Apparently they're just Hurts feeding into down. the non-medic. Yeah, Lock is in lobby here. This could be risky. They back happening. up separate ways, but no, Happy Feet don't really want to chase that. They're comfortable just sitting on point, running it down, That's playing with the Uber app. Hmm, as is their right. All we're seeing there is a big waste of time. It's. I think it's critical that the team that doesn't have Uber and they're, and they're losing, they need to force that medic ASAP, like it's really the only thing that matters. Yeah, for sure. That's the, that's the thing with Koth, right? 5 CP, however slow or fast you go, that's the tempo, that's like, there's timing to that and there's metagame, but... Enrif gets an Koth, early force, but he should to. be dying here. He finally this gets is, picked off. This is fine, like, Locke is gonna retain here, and they're gonna be that's able to come force. back up that's with the Really yeah. odd there, like, Enrif sort of just walked forward, and eventually Lau was far enough across point where he could mm -hmm. force him. But Locke was in a good position to back out. Obviously intentional. We'll see I'd the like to see uh, the red just sack Locke here, to be honest. Yeah. Elmo, good gum. I think they're... Oh, incredible they're fight by Enra. That was That's absolutely nice. fucking incredible. Whoa. Unbelievable. That's an absolute skybox pipe. Notice how blue delay the point there so they can get the spawn. That's probably like the unhypest midi. And the his. <laughs> yeah, that crazy. was pretty nutty, yeah. I hope the camera's caught that. It's interesting. It's such a... F Bagel doesn't give you much room. No, it's very unforgiving. There's no space. There's no space to, like, have sides and have a flank. Every fight is the same. Lau We're gonna extremely low. That's my kind of right thing. side. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, Ubers are exchanged. Redcoat nearly goes down there on point, but he gets caught in the Uber. We'll this just see four This people. isn't even good for, um... Oh no, Ben Emnus goes down to Yule. That's the key pick, right? Yeah, and they're gonna cap point across as well. Honestly, no that's... Have to back. That's really not even good for Happy Feet, because Blue are going to have mm -hmm. a much better spawn, and they're going to have the Uber. So, like, they should not be able to retain this point for very long. Yeah, so, that's true. And they also have Uber disadvantage. Check out down in the spot. This could be disastrous. They it's haven't good. seen him. They're not checking. Oh, why aren't they checking? Oh, and he drops. Yeah, he gets the force. I think they sort of already popped for it, though, but they'll only lose Aishu. Ah, uh, down's now behind. Silver gets picked. Ah, Silver will get loud though. That's really rough. Happy feeds. Yeah, happy feeds meta down. This is huge. For happy feet. Getting the. You can't. You really just Red can't afford to lose players well. after capping the point. Because just check out those respawns. They're just so such tremendously. Yeah, happy worse. feet are. They're ready with six, and Enrith is still down for all the gamers. I'd like to see them, maybe get a bit more forward, but they're choosing to play the high ground across the point, which is okay. Yeah, for sure. Alright, here we go. Soldier Bomb in. Down chills on top. Yeah, okay, no, you chills on top. Down will get caught. All Nog need to do here mm, is stay alive and take it slow. Yeah, Good. their soldiers are taking height and Redcoat goes down, that's enough. The armor picking up Silver wasn't enough, that's a scout loss, but they're just gonna collapse. Doge with a nice 2k. I don't think there's really any impetus on Down to have to sack there, because if he dies and they don't achieve anything, it's just missing a, a single player is such a massive disadvantage. Like, you can just really wear down the enemy team by attrition with that player advantage. Mm. I really like how Noel the gamers are holding here. You have a single soldier right side because they can back up. 
And then rotates around the stairs, and Demo watches left with like Roma high, and Scouts just wrap. Uh, Happy Feet are going to bully them out, but it gives them time for the Uber exchange, right? It's a yep. safe, interesting. Pretty hold. even. Mm. You no, know, all the gamers, Uber's lasting longer. Alright, we'll see the solid so one here. Ah, oh, they both go down immediately. Loud, oh, and Ember as well. Alright, Hushu is the only person down. You will go down. And now that's, that's not enough. Yeah, they're going to work this. Happy Feet will cap, and that's the second round. Ooh. Yeah. Cough experience showing up. I didn't expect it to be this dominant. Uh, uh, and to be honest, since playing these teams, I would have expected Nog to have an advantage, but uh, clearly they've been doing the homework, these happy fit guys. Yeah, whoever uh, demo reviews and map reviews and screams more, right? Hmm. Are we experiencing a pause? I'm not seeing anything. I on think my we've screen. seen a pause, yeah. Oh, the tactical delay. Alright, we're gonna see some. Uh, what? You predict? They're just pausing, gonna discuss it, work was out that, what they're was doing. Was the pause out from Nog? It was, surely, yeah? Is it a tactical mm. pause? We don't see an STV, so we can't, we'll see once it unpauses. I think we can assume as such, to be honest. They're likely discussing what they now, need to do a bit better. Second map, Snake Water, right? Yeah. I, that's gonna be rather different. I have, uh, a, I have a suspicion. It's a completely um, different ball game. Like, this is an extremely intensive cough map where fighting is is constant and uh snake i think especially for the happy fit you can be a lot more methodical and slow down the pacing and really grind the hell out of your enemies a lot more mm. yeah yeah of course and it's it's a fundamentally different game mode um this is round seven as well sorry i just wanted to check whether or not so happy feet winning a round here they're both you know all the game is a third seed happy feet a second if they both tie here hmm it seems top four for Prem is roughly decided. Do you know if there's any specific tiebreakers here? No. Yeah, uh, okay. Two math for you? Yeah. yeah. I get fain to do all my math stuff. Because Butterfly Factor in first with 24, Happy Feet and all the gamers are tied for second. Yeah, wins. It, even with the Bush ults. Yeah, so if Happy Feet take this map mm. and then know all the gamers end up taking the second map, which is Snake Water. And apparently our uh, Thunderbirds vs MG zombies will decide the fourth place. Yep. But these are the confirmed three teams. If yep. they draw here in round seven, that means Butterfly Effect are going to go in first seed. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> um, which is, yeah. I mean, every, every team has a chance to win, you know, eventually from this point. And... That, in a way, means yeah. the, re the results of this game don't matter, and both teams are going to be somewhat... It'll be playing for seed, essentially. But if Happy Feet take this, it's better for them to take Snake Water. And if no other gamers lose uh, Bagel, then it almost doesn't matter whether they win or lose Snake Water. Mm, oh, no, it means they have to win it, yeah. Mm, sort of. So back to this map. In so, anyway, in you know, pause. Game. It's yeah. the most, yeah... I... It is it, it really first seem... versus third? Second versus fourth? What do you mean? For the um, upper bracket. Because this right. is last round. I'm not sure. So do you think they're still discussing what they need to... their change? Or is someone not even, is disconnected? Or I have no idea. I'm not sure. It's a long pause. Okay, so apparently the first and second teams verse... And the third and fourth teams verse. So, not gonna lie, this is a really interesting game from a macro perspective, not from a gameplay perspective. Obviously, yes. both teams are playing Bagel really well. However, this means if no other gamers lose in their third seed, they'll have to verse either Thunderbirds or MG Zombies. Mm. Or, the, or the older gamers. I'm a bit fuzzy on that. But, if Happy Feet win both maps, then they have to verse Butterfly Effects in the upper bracket first. Right. I'm not sure which teams want which matchup, but I'd presume not versing Butterfly Effect in quarterfinals is what they're looking for. Yeah, that's kind of what our thinking was. From um, so based on the fact that Happy Feet have come out here, and Aisho and Elmo have sort of completely dumpstered on No All The Gamers, uh, Snake Water's going to be a very interesting map, because I don't know whether No All The Gamers will throw or not. They don't need to win. If they lose this, there's no, you know, 
There's no yeah. reason for them to need to. I'm gonna stop messaging the player. No disconnects. It must be. It must be. <laughs> scratch, I think. What are the official Osbot rules on time for pauses? I think it's. This is ridiculous. Enough. No. But in regards to this game, I really, it really does seem to me that uh, Happy Feet just seem to have a much um, stronger grasp at the moment of just understanding these sorts of um, spawn wave advantages and the uh, player advantages. And also, I think their Ubers have just been achieving a lot more. I've noticed Enrith has been dropped in basically yeah, every it's, Uber. It's whether it's unfortunate. whether it's Happy Feet playing good or no, all the game is playing bad. That's how they're getting the better Uber. Part of me thinks that like the demo really it's not really even that worth it a lot of the time taking him into a trade because he just doesn't achieve that much versus uber players whereas scouts extremely mobile and very good at forcing and staying alive depends what sort of mm, demo still influences terrain like demo is the only player that has a measurable impact on uber players right you can just bounce them up in the air so you sort of want your demo around like we're seeing uber trades basically around the gully wash nipple but like Enrith is, I'm noticing, sticking around stairs and dying from there. However, where's... I'm not sure where Redcoat's actually playing uh, during these Ubers. And that's what's interesting. I think interesting. he's present in them. I, I think that's yeah, the key. Yeah, he's just staying straight out. During a trade, I, I don't see why you'd want to demo there. Because he's not particularly good at forcing or doing damage against scouts. And you'd, I think you'd rather have him at the post with ammo and HP and positioning and stuff. But this is also leaning a lot on your scouts DM consistency. Like, a lot. Well, let's be honest, these scouts are all pretty powerful. Uh, well, it, yeah. I, I think mean, it's just a matter of how they're using them, I, I reckon. Uh, do you want to run down the scouts for either team? You'd, you'd know a decent amount of history about them. Uh, well, we can start off with uh, Nog Scout. You've got, like, well, Cookie's having a bit of a rough game, but typically he's been regarded as one of, the, if not the best pocket scout in Australia at the moment. I can remember got... past Grand Finals, yeah. yeah and him and, just... And then you've got Silver, which is a bit of an up-and-comer, extraordinary DM. Some might say he's lacking experience. And I think Aisha is... He's quite similar to Cookie at the moment. He's playing like a... He plays like a very intensive um, combat pocket scout that makes a lot of space. Yeah, if Cookie's passive, I'd say Aisha is aggressive. But they're still very, it's a very technical, uh, constrained form of pocket scout. Yeah. Elmo, classic, 4% heal scout, 12k damage. Is that what he's getting at the moment, 4%? Um, why don't we talk about the stats mid-game, since we're 2-0? Uh, I don't know where to find them. You could bring up some main ones for me, though, if you like. Yeah, I'll check logs. I imagine Elmo's getting a fair bit more heals. Like, you definitely want scouts getting heals on this map, I think. And soldiers kind of getting buffs and stuff. Oh, this has got to be a Hertz pause by this point. The fact that they're talking this much. They've got, they've got to be. Apparently Doge has disappeared. Okay, so on the stats, we've got Elmo going 16 to 3 at the moment. Yeah, uh -huh. well. Taking 18% heals. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, so he's keeping quite up a, with the matter. Yeah. So he's getting quite a tremendous amount of heals. That's cool, Elmo's though, standards. yeah. Both scouts are playing basically pocket. Elmo's cleaning up a lot. Uh, I show, and then we have Hertz dealing uh, 3.5k damage. So Elmo's dealing 3.7 with 16 to 3. Uh, Hertz is 13 to 12 Ooh. with 3.5. We're, we're back, mate. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Good, good timing, yeah. Oh, of course. Okay, both teams are rolling out. I wonder if we're going to see a bit of more of a desperation bit out of Mark, or they're just going to try and slow down and really hope they can achieve that player advantage. Ideally, they've worked out their strategies. They're going to play passive, first off. Yeah, it looks like passive to me. No point. The point Happy feet, about just now, yeah? chilling around this lower kit area, yeah. Yeah, no need to crack. Soldiers rotating. Alright, alright. Oh, there we go. I should have first bang. Notice yeah. how, notice how, um... The cookie goes yeah. down. Oh, the glass. Hurts as well. The flank doesn't work exactly how they wanted to do that scar draw. Ah, uh, continue. Notice how and blockers. Yeah, he does. Yeah, they just need. To, they just need to. Yeah, they just need to survive here. Like, I was gonna say, as soon as Aisha goes down, you can see the Im immediate um, aggression by Coffee Clock. 
or rather happy feet because they understand that they they're at a massive disadvantage there. Mm, the instant awesome. they lose awesome. their player, Loud? there's oh, that Loud almost force. breathe out. Yeah, that's a really nice force by Lau. That's That'll huge. clutch it out. And the oh, it's about even players actually. So just uh, it's really yeah. disheartening. Oh no, they've like, actually got a they've actually got a player out this, here. Right? Yeah. Mm. Like yeah, especially on Koth, right? Because you know every second counts. Yeah. So the Almo's not here just yet, so we should see Nog immediately try and break this open. Yeah, it seems like Dude. Hertz wants to poke in. You will meet him though, Hertz will pick him up, but scouts will collapse. That's a trade. Teams are just gonna start working across point now. Yep. First Dolger fire and it's that's oh I think my I cannot describe I the modern time. TF2 more than that. It's two minutes to three minutes two happy feet at the moment. You know, soldiers trade on flank and scout kills the one that the other killed. Yep, I'm it's just gonna do a hundred reload skip. No players down yet for either team. They're just trying to work point here. No, the game is almost capping as well though, but they're gonna lose Hertz and Cookie. They're forced to back out. This force though, to Lau. Lock, now equal percent. But they're gonna lose Silvo. Oh, no, sorry, that's just my heart being delayed. Yeah, yes, my, my heart's now. been butchered by the uh... Well, that's the thing, the right? The respawn times are so quick that they're up before the kill feed notice disappears. It's only like three or four seconds, mate. Yeah, before the kill feed notice even disappears. Yeah. Oh, Cookie gets out of the trap. Yeah, nice by Redco. Is it even Ubers at the moment? Yeah, it completely equal. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, how did they know? Oh no, Lock, Lock 100%, has 100%, Lock has full Uber ad. Lau's on 75. Oh, goddamn pause it. So, it's up to Happy Feet to essentially stay here. Make sure they, should, that they, they have survive. to force Lock here. Lock milking they, the shit out of this Uber. Yeah, that's nice by Lock. Both Elmo and Down won't be able to do it. We'll see the aggressive thing in here, but Hertz goes down. I think mm. Lock may, may have just salvaged that because if he, he he popped there or went down, that would have been the opener for uh, Happy Feet to break back in with their ad. So that's that's really clutch. Some might say too clutch. Mm. That was yeah by the skin of their teeth. I think the way to play here is just to sack lock while he's across the point like this with every single player on your team. Yeah, that's right. But they are taking a trade after losing a player, so this really shouldn't turn out well for Happy Feet at all. Ashal needs to die immediately, and then they need to protect lock. Mm, I show Elmo down. Oh. That's good for them, yeah? Rico Locks almost alive. killing lock, that was so close. Oh. That's that's really good for uh, the Yule there because you can you can see that they're gonna have a massive respawn advantage on Silvo, so we ought to see uh, Coffee try and break in. And they really have to. Oh, Scapos! I shall should die here. We'll Nothing. see the yep. We'll see the soldier bomb. Yeah, Yule unable to do anything. Down, sort of just collapsing. This is almost textbook from a no losing dose. It there is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But that's a that's a pretty late death on Redcoat, so that's going to salvage Doge being an ex really extended respawn. Eight seconds versus two, yeah. What are the Ubers like in a moment? Uh, seems pretty. Uh, even. I reconnected. Eighty percent to Law and ninety percent to Lau. Yeah, but Lau will go down on the flank. Hertz wrapping behind. Enris will pick up Elmo, and then Hertz will oh, go they, down. Oh, they got Lau. Collapsed. Yeah, they got Lau. That's really nice. All, We've seen them all they need to now. do here is they need to not get popped or dropped, and just re and just uh, kill the stackers if they're coming in. And this, they really have to grind this clock and repeat well, this playing, Uber. Yeah, they're playing this passive for a reason. Yeah. Oh. yeah happy face so starting to roll out. Oh, Rico getting midi there, completely destroyed. Lock and down go yeah. down as well. Lock had okay, a really well. excellent grasp of like, that what was going on there. He immediately backs to a safe position and they just milk, uh, clean up all the, the stackers. That's pretty perfect, to be honest. Except Silvo dying, which they might be able to break open. I've almost forgotten what, like... Lock, you, you know, Lock hasn't dropped at all this game. He's like yeah, it's evaded a, it's a, all a the bit scouts isn't it? and stuff. Yeah, I've forgotten what is you know. You it's not the Lock nothing. I know. Yeah, this isn't the Lock I know. This is a new reformed Lock. Does Lock have Uber? Yes, they do. Mm. I still oh, think they the have time. In here. Oh, Hertz gets picked up. He nearly gets out through the entire skybox. That's Happy Feet's time to work across. Ubers are exchanged. Happy Feet have to survive here and play this player ad and collapse on the post Uber, and then they will win. Uh, well, at least they'll get the, the round One, back. no, but Happy Feet have so much ground. Enrith goes down. Oh, all the frags. Happy Feet will pick it up. One minute left. This is, this should be, uh, I really think this will be Nog's round. 
look at the the players. Like they have a scout, uh, medic rather, and the soldier down. Well, like, they yeah, could... they can roll this out first. This They'll ha have this the has two. to be extremely quickly. They just need to get on this damn point right now and start capturing it. And spam the shit out of them as they're on the point. Big collapse. This should be it. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Wow, that's a really impressive hold. Yeah, that was solid. A, a bit close, but um, I'm glad to see them win that one. One to two now. God damn, yeah, god damn. There was a little less bias. I, I expect yeah, we we're gonna that's... experience a very similar bit again. Mm, that's what they needed though. Two O down immediately, and then just you know work work it out. Take a pause that was probably way too long. Work, discuss some stuff. Let Doge grab a bit of water, and then reform and grab around. The, the natural mid meta seems pretty consistent to me. It's like a game of, you know, looking for that pick, staying alive, and teams like to seem to take the, the center and the left area more than the, the more aggro area on the right, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, most players don't seem to want to go through the flank areas. It's probably very, sol it's very soldier-centric, and I, I think a lot of the good holds, I mean, Doge goes down there. That's yeah. exactly why. Like, he just gets spammed by players. This not is even dangerous. Loud and Loud gets picked up. I sure he's gonna rush here. He might get locked. No, that's a good, good hold by Cookie. Lau is an worth. excellent uh, move for there, evading Hurts. Hurts fired about three or four rockets at him, but still survived. Mmm. Well, Lau also how they ends up getting yet. over here. Like that's really good for Happy Feet, right? Lau uh, surviving. You know, Lock gets out. They they're able to kill enough players so that no all the gamers have to get out, and then they're able to keep Lau up and actually get Uber, turning you know decent Uber discs. Yep. Get ready for a trade here. Or you might see a sack, but I think we're going to see a trade. Yep, very aggressive. Yeah. Ender almost dying again. Holy shit, that would have been awful. <laughs> we'll see the high bomb in response. My, oh, Doge will go down, but yours are free tra fair trade. Yeah, okay, that's both soldiers from No All the Gamer down, but Cookie will wrap in. Get red code. I'm going to admit it. That's no demo here. Ooh. He's beefing oh, me the scouts are rushing. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I show and down want to follow up, that's enough. I think if Good Elmo collapse. had been collapsed on that, I think if Elmo's team had collapsed with him there, that lock would not have escaped. But it's yeah, okay. there was a bit of a delay there. How the uh, it was the fact that Cookie was able to wrap behind through yeah. the right lobby and kill uh, Redcoat. That just Even... meant they, yeah, they disconnected from Elmo there. But Even look, they, re they reconnect, they, they capitalize on the damage, and they punish the players. Yep. And this keeps them the point, this keeps them time. Doge will go down early. I just thought they should just post up here, there's no rush. Like, what have they got to lose just by staying alive? This mm. enemy team hasn't captured their player down, just chill. But it's boring. Silver pick gets picked up. Well, That's is... a better Uber from Happy Feed. Enroth gets knocked way high in the air. It should faded. die. And that's yeah, both soldiers. This is extremely unfortunate. A little bit of DM, a little bit of here and there. Cookie picks up Elmo, but a little bit too late. Both scouts are going to try something. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cookie might be up. If he gets the Medicare, okay. I show cleaning him up. So before, into, going into this game, I was thinking that Nog would have an advantage because I typically regard like these sorts of maps as much more like DM rules orientated. But the thing about uh, Happy Feet is they're very methodical and they have, I think they have some of the best composure out of any of the teams yeah, at the moment. Agree. So that really plays into um, achieving these and accumulating these sorts of advantages that let you win this map. The coordination is very fluid, very pre-planned. And the Nog way currently they're just feeding into the map. Yeah. This is really I mean, not good for Nog, I think. Uh, no, see, that's no. interesting. On on the base like part of that situation, right? No, all the gamers are able to get two frags and force them back. However, they lost Enrith and they lost Hertz for it. Yeah, so and you're right. Happy Feet are going to immediately come back out here. That's how you have to play cop. We'll see the scout. For try to yeah, they force. Lock can get our main. He's seventy percent. That's really nice. This is actually excellent because Lock is is Lock does Lock have charge or is close to it? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he's 80 yeah, he now. Does. Yep, this okay. is full out for all the gamers now. So what we should observe here is that they're just gonna they ought to push right back in and reclaim the point. So really, you're not getting all that much time out of um out of, co out of the coffee clock spot. Or rather, happy fate, man. I'm always gonna get that mixed up, aren't I? <laughs> Incredible trap. Doge completely yeah. eradicated. So we should just look for the force here and retain their Big medic on the red side. Yeah. Almost oh, getting absolutely shit. <laughs> See you, lovely. 
Whoa, he died! Oh, oh. Wow, well, picks up lock! With the long range bow, that's nutty! Oh, that's exactly what Happy Feet need here. No other gamers are gonna cap, but... Soldier trade. Aggressive counter push. Oh, Doge so like gets denied it. in the air. I worry for red coat. Yeah, red coat will get picked up as well. This pressure's good here. Soldier yeah. scout from either side, just raining down, but... Look, <laughs> that bow, bow yeah. the lock, yeah, that's yeah, enough. Yeah. They win Ob that. Observe how, like, as soon as lock dies, um, the blue team just go balls to the wall aggressive. And then the correct response to that is just to play as heal intensive as you can and, you know, grind them out, which they did pretty much perfectly. Loud wow. stay lobby, yeah, and everyone yeah, defended yeah. that yep. that show. All right, we're just gonna start seeing the the pressure. Soldiers Look, getting a trade here. in the right flank. Yeah, he'll get picked up. Hurts gets Loud a trouble. Bomb in. Oh god, he should die. He has to die. So close. We'll see the scout. Ah, but they didn't see Enrith on the side. That was the last player. Yep. That's why it's that. I think some people sometimes get too caught up in a notion of um, flank versus flank versus choke, right? Or flank versus heals. Yep. And I think Lau would have only gone down there if they committed the six players in the way that they did. It's more obvious on these sort of maps like Bagel and Vita, I really, I really where don't there's think no that... room to not play with a flank. And you'll see soldier trades on, on yeah, you know, it's flank roots, but they're not flanks. They're not set. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I really think it's a mistake here, just capping the point, because the you know the cap time that you get lasts it lingers a very very long time on this map. It forces but, it to be really hard for them to recap. Yeah, yeah true. But like if you, but once you cap the point, you've lost that massive advantage in terms of the respawn waves. So observe how Coffee Clock have this player ad now, and they're able to just completely overwhelm um, Nog. Yeah, yeah. Which they do. I mean, Silver gets two here. Yeah, it's rather interesting. Yeah, that's the thing as well about so capping, we're like, this. it influences the... This is a lot better for Happy Feet, right? With the point being exactly how it is. Yeah, as we should you see just them said, Because they get better spawns. And it takes less time for them to cap. We'll see the Soldier High Bomb though. La has Uber! La Pops. I think yeah. this has to be it. This has to be round. Surely. Lock 75, that's it. 3-1. Wow. Happy Feet will take the first map. Bagel! Oof. That was pretty cool, man. Oh, cutting straight away. Not gonna lie. I didn't think you'd... I didn't think Nog would pull it back. I'll be honest, yeah, I thought they were gonna win, and then they started getting crushed, and then they pulled it back, so that it ended up being a very close game despite the overall score, so I think that was pretty exciting. First two, yeah, first two rounds were still close. I'd still say they were comfortably in Happy Feet's lead. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, all the gamers having a definite showing there, working some stuff out. Um... What do you think the difference was? Because Happy Feet were obviously able to readapt, and if we go to the stats, we see Redcoat basically dealing 10k damage, topping the damage board, 18 to 13. I really uh, think the whole the damage and like the DM stuff is secondary oh, of course, or, or, of course, or, or symptomatic. Of I, I really think it's just the logs are meaningless. Clock. Logs are meaningless, but I know fun. I know that sounds like an elitist sort of meme now, but like I I kind of agree with it in this case because it, it really does seem like coffee had a stronger grasp of the fundamentals of this map and how to right, well, really burn out the clock. Do you want to talk about the most important stat here? And yeah, it's not damage, bit. it's damage taken by the scouts. Both Elmo and Aisho took the least damage out of the entire server, and that was the reason why Happy Feet, I think, won, because... The least damage? Yeah, both Elmo and... No, sorry, before meds, of course. Oh, of course. I've... Yeah, of course. I'm quite, um, I'm quite surprised by that, because when we were versing these teams and we were beating them, Rose and I took a pretty much tremendous amount of damage, so it's quite interesting to see they're playing the more, um... Uh, well, if know, it means Lau can, Lau can put more bows into Down and Redcoat, mm. and Yule, if, if it means that Happy Feet's soldier aggression and their initial burst, like, we almost saw no real pushes. No. You know, it was often just players dying and then this sort of this natural run. reaction, this run out, this yeah. jump forward. But for the few high bombs we saw, maybe that's the reason why Happy Feet were more successful. Those few times where they had that high bomb, their soldiers just had more health. Quite possibly. That, or their scouts just... But that's the other thing as well. Maybe Redcoat's... Okay, how many kills did Redcoat get on scouts? Because if... I can't if Enrith time, is I'm focusing... Gonna You're going to have to tell Yeah, me. that's reasonable. Redcoat got seven on scouts, and Enrith got five. That's not enough to tell. Hmm. 
it's interesting, regardless. I think the fact that, yeah, either Enrith wasn't able to deal damage on Elmo and Aisho in the way he wanted, yeah. or he wasn't fo- or he you know, no other games weren't focusing their scouts enough. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, Hurt's, Hurt's still performing as Soldier. It's, it's always sort of interesting. He um, pretty much always uh, gets good stats. I don't, mm, I don't, you, mm. really, you don't really ever see him have um, a shit individual game, I think. Doge playing the uh, technical and most likely main calling sacrificial lamb in the team. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the enemy team has Uber point. and you don't. I think yeah. sacking soldiers is, is excellent uh, to just to get the force out. What's that call? So, just for anyone who's uh, joined us, this is season 27 of Oz Fortress, uh, round 7. And this is No Older Gamers vs. Happy Feet. Happy Feet are comprised of Aisho and Elmo on Scout, who's nine year old girl for yep. Yule and Down on Soldiers, Redcoat on Demo, who's Kuku 123 re and Lau on Medic. And do you want to go over No Older Gamers? Yeah, so for No Older no, no Gamers, the blue team, they've got Cookie on Pocket Scout, Sobo is the Flank Scout, Doge is Roaming, I, I think, or is he Pocket? I'm not, pretty sure I'm it's not sure. Yeah, I think, okay, I might have got that wrong. Interest on demo, lock on medic, and hurts on the, the aroma. At this point, it's sort of... The thing is, they mix this up all the time. It's um, mm. rather hard to keep track of. But it's also, if, if Doge ends up the foremost soldier who gets bowed and ends up with 20% heals, like, just how a game plays or ends up playing, and yeah. hurts ends up behind a lot, because he's, you know, he jumps high, he kills something, and then he goes for a kit behind. Like, you... There's a certain point where the roles don't matter, and you just have to play the game in front of you. And a soldier is a soldier, and a scout is a scout. I'm, I kind of and believe I like that, that yeah. they play that. You know, you see this a lot in like the higher team. They're willing to adapt based on you know what players are available to them, and they're willing to exploit stuff like you know no soldiers. We can go in an area where it's normally high bombed. You, you know, you can exploit demo down. Uh, we'll play it slow. We'll work off our you know damage. Yeah. This it's is something gonna be, that Coffee you know, Club are really fond of. They, they're they more mm. than happy to just put on the brakes and bring their game to a cruel once they've got a stable position and really just wear down the enemy's patience and... Scout know. attrition. Yeah. yeah. And this is Snake Water, of course. It's... I, I think we're going to be a here. Mm, very different game compared to what we saw before. I think the mids will actually be quite similar because I think I believe both these teams are rather fond of playing the, the player ad sort of thing. Like, get a pick immediately post up and re- try and retain that sort of um, numbers advantage. So it could be quite similar to what we just experienced on Bagel, but I do believe the rest of the map will be a different story. Yeah, of course. Mids, mids will be the same. Both, both teams will play mids the same way they played that map. Bagel. What do you think of Bagel, having watched that? What do I think of it as a map? Yeah, as a map. I- I like it. I, th- I think it's pretty fun. I know that these guys aren't particularly fond of it, but I just I really like how it's co- it's very active all the time and like the the situations rapidly switch around. It's very fluid and dynamic. I think. Yeah, the positions between um being able to back out and being straight on to point and aggressive is yeah. it's it's you know a these, second. Yeah, these tiny little shifting time windows that you need to exploit in order to achieve things. So I've been liking um, Wipeout so much at the moment. <laughs> Shout Wipeout? out to Good Studio. Diabolical is so good, man. Anyway, we're going live. Oh, we're onto the mid. I know you're a big Enrith quake, is yeah. here first. Yeah, man. And the initial aggression by her, that denies Redcoat out. No frag out of it, though. Teams are just going to set off. Redcoat pushing across the left here. Quite interesting. Down just, they, yeah, fake Tommy. They have, I think they have much better position here, the red team. But nothing oh, really big achieved. Oh, okay. I should get called for that. That's... That's risky. Inter that's impatient. Oh, random pill. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Red Coat will pick up Enrith. So the demo trade goes in favor of Happy Feet. Silver and Cookie down though. That's their scouts now. No other game is happy to get out. Hits They're going to go fake bombing, I think. Oh god. <laughs> nice Rico. five. Dude, he's got fucking Rhino class here. My god. Yeah, that's that's one you take to the taxidermists. Yeah. Anyway, um, look. Red they're not is, capping though. They're gonna dude. poke a bit. No, they're poking. Because Lock gets out, right? <laughs> They'd only have the players here. They, if they want to get a favorable Uber, which they're now not going to, they won't just want to go for the force. I seriously think that was Keep... a massive blunder out of them. Um... Keep 
keep uh, Elmo red coat forward. If no other gamers go to trade, have the players for the trade. But then they went for a 2k sack, and it didn't work out, and now they're forced back onto mid, and look, no other gamers are just gonna You'll take above. ground. Hmm? Yeah, he'll get caught. I think the, the massive issue there was they did not cap, but they just let the defending team <gasps> defend circuit. Happy feed, Uber Fur. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. They sort of... They could have had a very easy mid and a very clean mid. And then I just down and elbow. But that's red code as well. Red code and down. That's three down. That's This is going to be a last hole, basically, for Happy Feet. It has to be. Um, mm. I wonder if they're going to try to go for the block. No, there should be spawn camping here. That, that's the correct play. It's just a tight counter rush by all the gamers. You know, like, they've ended up taking two points, basically, off that single blunder. The fact yeah, that Red Coat poked too far forward, and like, Happy Feet's position was already on second and they didn't cap, they weren't able to get an Uber out of it, yep. now they're holding last for it. I really winning. think that all those blunders are like, symptoms of that awful uh, push off mid, because they had no one capping, mm -hmm. and they just it's gave them connected. so much yeah. team to uh, They push defend. a bit too far forward, they don't cap, Yeah. they lose the initial fight, and then they lose three rounds out of bullying and pressure, based on essentially Uber disadvantage. And now they're holding last for a single mistake on middle. Okay, so we're going to see the most fun part of uh, Snake Water, which is the Uber, we... the Uber breaking stalemate. Hurts immediately in. This shouldn't achieve anything. And then we see the counter by down. He's going to go sniper, man. Give me 15 seconds. Pretty, very safe, very, you know, conservative sack. Just like one single player. It almost never results in being able to, like, not be able to hold second, I think. So. Is he going to switch off? No. So I think we're going to see something a bit more elaborate this time, unless they really want to just do a, a happy feat and just really take it slow. I mean, they can. It's just it's just so low risk, so low, so, so such low reward. I think doing single sex. Um, yeah. This is the other thing as well. Happy feet. If they lose this, they're going to have to fight butterfly effect. We'll see the second. They're just chilling. Oh, double! It's a double. Ooh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. They, I think, I really think they made them think that there was going to be um, a single there, and then while they were distracted, Doge completely yeah. securing it. And even though he got knocked up in the air by the sentry, like, he still got the rocket off and was able to get the force. Yulin down as well, also going uh, going down on flank to Enra. Uh, it doesn't so matter they lost though, to, Yeah. The, yeah, respawn waves, it's a free death. Yeah. I really think that, like, the defending team need a, a heavy. That's kind of... Yeah, I don't know. I think heavy is just invaluable here. Yeah, running, for sure. Running the sniper is a bit of a, a gamble, but if it gets a it's key, a back, risk it's reward. huge. Look, everyone loves to snipe, but there's a reason why you barely see any snipers from front yeah, teams anymore. Yeah, typical um, roll yeah, I like this. Demo jumps through. They deal with sentry really well. No frags and no cap time at the moment. Uh, yeah, this allows Happy Feet to get back on point. They weren't able to get cap in time, but they're going to pick up the frags for it. And they got the charge. Lock yeah, they had time. Mm, he might, he might. Cookie on the point! This could be disastrous! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. The cookie with the big brain! Yeah, okay. Rotating straight paths, you know. That, they have to chase Lock, they have to chase Lock, they have to kill the man. Yeah, man. That just walk. That push should have been a complete fail, I think, because they really agree, didn't achieve yeah. all that much. They didn't get any cap time, they weren't getting any frags. That was the key like is, a, Cookie uh, was yeah. committed to the Uber, right? Yeah. And that meant that Silver had to play point in that three second band between when they were stuck in spawn and when before the Uber faded. Hertz will go down immediately on this mid. We'll see the high, counter high bomb in here. Don't Just a fake. Yeah, space, really yeah. likes this, yeah. He does this often. But that's enough, right? It, it puts the fear into them. It stutter steps them back. Elmo Dude. picks up lock as well. That's met down for all the gamers. That's a good collapse. All um, Happy Feet need to do there is retain their medic. But you can see how important like the, the single player pick is. Like, as soon as they go down, the mid is practically over. Like, yeah. all, everyone counts, every man. It's all based on the positions, though. And, like, no player lets themselves... No, no player catches themselves out, if that makes sense. And that's why the fake bomb's so important. He bombs back into his friendly soldier. It makes so much space, and it draws so, so many eyes, um, which is a big part of it. But... So this is the full ad. Uh, let's see how these guys are holding. They're doing uh, yeah, heavy. a hold that we like to do. Is that a Tommy Slav from Cookie? Yeah. yeah I respect that. Nah, Those people I'm like Ross. No. Nah. Tommy Slav all the way, man. Just rib it along. Look, we'll see the... Yeah, see? He's able to get back out of this form. The Super's not effective. But he's not effect. But this oh, is man. the thing. They play on point. They don't play on... Oh, the flashes, though, from Loud. 
I think if Lau had flashed one fewer player, they would have capped in time. But they pick up the players anyway. Really nice from Happy Feet there. Were they beefing on Elbow just then? Those scouts? It kind of seemed like they come on. Yeah, I think so. Well, look, 1-1 one, one tied. Yeah. So, yeah, if you, if you don't get frags and the enemy is very passive and leaves the point exposed like that, you, you can be salvageable even if you're not killing people with the charge. But really, you would like to see at least like some sort of entry pick with it. Just makes yeah, it sort of easier. As long as you get something out of the Uber, you can work from there. All you need is a player. Um, passive mids here. Soldiers yeah, just playing left, left for their respective teams. Kitchen's empty. Oh, okay. Yeah, you all down goes in kitchen here. I'm Happy soldier. Very hard here. Watch this. Oh, oh he's, he's all the way. Back. Yeah, he just wants to. He puts the threat there though now, and we'll see the aggression here. Down in now as they get a pick. Oh, yeah, so Silver goes down, great. Yule getting a good medium to Doge. Down, and Aisho get picked up, so down on flank, Aisho is pocket scout. But he's supporting players are going to wrap around. To I'd love to medic. see him chase lock here if they're a bit faster, maybe too late. Yeah, but too mm. late. In that situation, you could have Roma cap, scout chase forward, and that allows it, but... I think you always want the mm. Roma, uh, the soldier, because he has so much faster than the scout. In chasing meds, true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of a trade there, that's actually not favourable. Like, no. trading early so they don't have players for the post, but... You'd have to catch them in lower, don't Check worry, don't worry. that's is a he, Is he checking for stuff, or he's actually doing a rocky? I think he is. Where is he at the moment? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about myself in third person. Is he gonna bump down? Ah. Oh. Hurts in position. They have- he's probably called the sniper now. Lau is aware of this, and Albert yeah, must I have heard this. Wait, isn't Elmo an air doctor? Or nose doctor, I'm not sure. Regardless, he should have heard Hertz decloak here. Nope, they don't- I don't think they know. They're looking to work right, he's in lobby now. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Redco will go down. Huge. He's just gonna back out. I really I think- I getting pressured really hard though. Oh, and Yul will go down. They, they get four slower. All this That's really Where... nice. Where's by Hertz? Uh, Doge there. Doge gets the force on flank, essentially. Scout will re-pressure him. Elmo wants the frag. 35 HP. Come on, Elmo. Yeah, don't do that, man. It's- I think it's- Al Silver needs to get the hell off, like, Engineer, they've it's got two player in Uber, they need to get out right now before they play this. Yeah. Yeah, he, okay, he's off NG now. I shall But this is him. the issue, yeah, they're six up with no cap time. Even with full Uber out. Look, they have full Uber out against a sniper, that's the other thing. They've got to respect I show. Yeah, they're gonna be. I think these second. Look. They're not good. Oh, wow. <laughs> no one noticed the sticks on hot. And there's like, pressure sniper. Oh fuck, oh shit, I gotta get out. Big he jumps they, back. They have to pop to the Uber. Yeah. This Look, is really get good. Out of it. This is really good. They're gonna get mid for sure. This is all they need. Seventy percent for Lau. I should still sniping. He should survive. Mm. I really think that they need to go off these double soldiers and make and like do a sack or something. Like yeah, they need to go now for sure. And avoid the sniper ideally. Spam by the. Mm, you'll down soldiers. now. Up now. They have a five second window where they have two player out. But yeah, I should making it hard. We'll the see the soldier have on now. He gets denied a body shot. Other he drops. Oh. oh, but Silver just flanks. That's naughty. And he picks up Hasho as well. Even though they lose those two players, they've got their med. Yep. And they're just gonna chill mid. Okay. Are we, are we gonna see Happy Feet try and look for a, a rush that kid? Ah. Uh, well, they're just gonna survive. I think they really ought to go to last. They're um, all just playing chill. Yeah. Redcoat's just chilling back bats. Soldiers in lobby. This is gonna be a free second, I think, for now all the gamers. Nog reminding me of Happy Feet right now, very slow and methodical and just grinding away and really capitalizing on these advantages. There's no rush when you have like this sort of advantage. Take your hey, time. Hey, I mean, if you're losing to a team, sometimes just copy them. Do exact, you know, if, you, if you're if you getting beat by something, like, as a single use strat, just do, exactly sort of what, yeah, just do exactly what, yeah, just do exactly what they're doing. Force them to counter what they do, and then, you know, work from there. It shifts the tempo. We're gonna see the Uber out here. Cookie should be through all the oh, down. so low, man. No scout on point yet though. No cap time for all the gamers. They want the frags out of it. Points open. Points open. But the heavy's too strong. Heavy's gonna get bowed. This is the position now. So both soldiers jump in. Oh, they'll pick up the red code. Yeah, that's enough. Scout back so on point. It's so close. Oh, it's but so the close. Down, down. Very nice. He was the last player alive on upper. That's really clutch. And they'll get Lau as well to survive. That's 90% Uber advantage. Full. Do you yeah. think all the gamers hold mid here? I mean, they're gonna they're gonna poke in some capacity. 
I don't are think they they're gonna. gonna I don't think they're gonna sec here, but they might. Poking. They are second. Yeah. Okay. They want to fight second. Yeah. No. Captain's not too much. Scouts are forward. They're gonna get two for it. That's good. And they might get the force as well. That's oh, that's so nice. It honestly doesn't even matter. Pressing they get the force, I think, because they can. Um, they're gonna. They should deny these, and they should be able to go straight into middle. I think with this player advantage. It's gonna I, be up to know all the gamers to delay for at least twenty seconds. Three eyes downs. Eyes on hurts. Mm, straight oh, through the Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, Leandro's gonna get caught. Yeah, this is really nice. Happy feet. They're gonna take that quick. Yeah, you're right. I they weren't able to do delay enough, and no. that kitchen jump is just so good. Lock, yeah, Locks um, Uber was just too low for any sort of congestion in there, I, I think. The question is, are we gonna see... We should see them push in soon once Indra's up, but maybe they don't realise how high of an Uber Lau has at the moment. It's quite possible that he's gonna achieve this Uber. 80% now, yeah. They're only just working in. It was about 50 by the time they had their push chance. No jokes extremely low. I think they needed to, they're gonna defend it. This is a mid essentially now. Yep. We'll <laughs> this is a mid to a T. Ooh, Happy Feet Scout really little on left though. Okay, Uber's gonna exchange. A yeah. little bit better of an Uber from Uh but the pick losing yeah, place. Yeah, then they lose hurts. Uh Scout behind. We'll see the bomb in here from Happy Feet. Oh dear. Yeah, they're gonna collapse perfectly on Saw side though. Just keeping that hot. Staying aggressive, you know? Yep. 5v3. You can clearly observe, like, as soon as that player goes down, the the scales just completely shift. And, uh, you're just able to collapse on them. The, the numbers advantage. Yeah, man. It's a numbers game. Alright. It's gonna be completely equal here. No off classes yet. Uh, Silver's still on NG, which, you know, equal Ubers. NG's always useful for last. Yep. Yep, it's, you should pretty much always run an engineer, I think, unless you haven't got the time. Given the fact that it's tired, it's basically just we're gonna see a bomb from down. Possibly Yule. Most likely not red coat. And then they're gonna work from there, I think. Hurts maybe counter spying? That's something he does, right? I don't think he's gonna go to spawn and switch off. <laughs> Although I would advocate it. <laughs> um, I think we're just gonna see some sort of That's a level two sack. player, yeah. You know, dying and going spy. Going back to spawn and going spy. A player, Disguising like... as a friendly sniper and going spy. Yeah. It's gonna suggest a play, but I actually don't want to know. <laughs> Very aggressive top right. Yeah, team's poking. No sacks yet. They want space. They want to be able to, like, actually make something slightly useful out of this. Because just to... You know, if you want your sack to be successful... Oh, they're gonna the spin yeah. That's an Oh, that's push. Let's go, boys. Oh, they get oh, they get what? Going off of it. No, this isn't a force. This is like a an actual push. They'll get a sentry for it and nothing else. I must say, I'm a bit confused by that. I I, I don't think that. Of course, they Snake were doing it after the sprinter. Huh? They're just looking yeah. for a trade, but like it's counter still push very immediately from the They're just gonna all bomb out bats. Four people. Oh, ooh! I think Elmo's gone behind. I'm done. No, that's down, isn't it? But he should get eradicated. It would yeah, he gets caught. Looks like a scout, but yeah. Yeah, Elmo was behind. But he gets picked up by Hertz as well. Clean from all the gamers. Even That's like players. a clean Uber ad push out. Not letting our Happy Feet let themselves set up on second either. No, I don't Like think the time it that. took. They yeah. just, they didn't have time to set up. No, all the gamers made sure. You know, there's a difference between a team that's just gotten somewhere and a team that's holding. Do you they know? think they have ads? They must do, yeah. They have to, yep. Oh, look yeah, how this, this is. This is, a, this is a mid killer, I think. Are they too slow? Through under. They're gonna have their flank cut point while they're already in lobby, yeah? They, they still think it's Uber Ed. Yeah, this is a really rough multi. Sentry down though. If the they... post isn't bad, if they rotate under from here. Oh, so many low players. But no, all the gamers are gonna push through upper lobby. Yeah. You will pick up Hurts though. I think yours salvage just defense just by getting that pick there. Doge is gonna get caught, however. Yeah. Yeah, no other gamers don't want to fight that. Once it's like extended and you still don't have second capped, you just can't risk it, right? Uh, they dry pushing here. Oh, a pause? They're pausing. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. So Goddamn. I, I think the play here, since um, 
the blues the blue soldier is going to be up very momentarily the play is to just overwhelm them with this player right here and just kill the medic and then get the uber and then wait and then do a push and actually succeed in pushing last i would hate to see like um them just take this battle here and just not kill Locke. and yeah well yeah they're basically like just in the threshold of the lobby they've you know it's equal ubers but they've got the soldiers down i think yeah look they're just gonna carry it in like it's what demos look and is looking under cookies just chilling with the sandwich on last oh what a baller yeah it's like a classic mafia gangster he's, man. he's chucking out the emergency sandwich for lock <laughs> he's the porn lo he's the porn broker man how much is that oh, sandwich okay. gonna cost you in interest oh shit god damn let's have a look at these stats yeah okay uh, you're gonna have to tell me again, sir. Yeah, that's true, that's true. A full screen, so crashing. Yeah, you won't have any crap. You gotta run full screen, bro. You're not a competitive gamer. Yeah, it's it's also better for other res if you want any other resolution. Um, yes. Weirdly enough, Doge is actually top damaging at the moment. 4.7k. Uh, and really? then it's happy. Yeah, and then it's happy feet scout Aisho. Um, so it's it's a Doge-led game so far by no other gamers. Uh, and Happy Feet are leaning more on Aisho, their pocket scout. Yeah. And then it's Enrith and Hertz uh, with 4.2k and 3.9. So 300 damage a minute Can you repeat uh, that one, to sorry? Aisho and Doge. What and then two, 250 for Enrith and Hertz. They're the right. next. Yep. However, they're both, they only have four frags each. Um, Silvo and Cookie completely bottom damaging. However, they're 13 and 8 and 11 and 5. So, you know, no other game of scouts really cleaning up on Enrith and Hertz's damage. And Doe's just playing the complete damage game at the moment. However, from Happy Feet, it's, it's Aisho leading the pack, and then exactly what you'd expect to see. Uh, Demo Man scout soldiers playing, playing perhaps a more, uh, more cookie-cutter game. Hmm. Heals, Demo's in the lead. Yeah. Uh, Doge is taking 25% at the moment. Yeah, that's why he's getting so much damage in. If he's um, making that sort of space, though, to allow the scouts to clean up and survive, like, it, I think that's really... We, we've known this for a couple of years now, but it really does seem to be about retaining scouts because they're just the best fighting class, especially when we have two of them versus... Uh... They're the only class that can, like, double back and shoot and double back and shoot. And hit four shots between everyone's one. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're too fluid and mobile and uh, scouts have to com uh, soldiers have to commit, right? Demo yep. men, demo men, they deal so much damage and they have this constant sphere of death. And yep. like, there's areas you can never approach, and sometimes you walk around a corner and you die. But yeah, demo men are weak and vulnerable if they're alone and if a scout gets in their face. This they're pretty slow. They're unreliable. They're vulnerable. Like scout, he, he just As I've is, said, is so good at surviving and just doing whatever you want as yeah as i've said i've always felt like i've always felt like scouts play yeah they play hit scan they play like a methodical game and soldiers play rock paper scissors it's not fun being a soldier anymore yeah that's why i switched at a certain point like i i don't expect valve to ever remove it's either you know the med speed buff no one really likes I, I like uh, it for speeding up the pace of the game. I think it makes it a bit more interesting. In it's either buff, buff soldier or re reverse some sort of like. If we consider the idea that this that this meta is in some way like shitty to soldier and that it should be changed, it's either mm. a buff to soldier or it's a nerf to nerf to the current way scout ubers work. I don't see this meta really changing all that much away from scouts unless we've got some sort of message cha uh, massive change like that. Oh, I actually heard a really good um, suggestion the other day. Um, yep. It was, I think it was playing Diabolical, because oh, the rockets yeah. in that, yeah, right. The rockets in that oh. game are 1 to 100. Oh, and we're live. So give Soldier that. Give you can just kept it. Yeah, but they just walked straight on a point. Dude, I'm in the sky and I didn't even see that. So literally just uh, their scouts just occupy their top right. <laughs> they just they're not the going to be ready. Yeah, they're <laughs> not going to be ready after the pause, man. Just kept point. I must, I must say, I was expecting some sort of like player advantage fighting sort of lock pick there, but it just turned into a cap. I mean, it's yeah. brilliant, yeah? Cap the point would Yeah, be. easy money. You don't need to take a 6v4, just, you know, win the round, win the game. 
This puts Happy Feet in the lead now. Yes. You no, know, all the gamers, like, they have been tired this entire season. But no, all the gamers historically in previous seasons have been the better team. We're gonna see the high bomb in here. Soldier's just retaking high. Doge will go down. Doge feeding. Two feeding down. Ooh, no, all the gamers just backing up together towards Valley and Graf. They're gonna leave Dungeon. I'm Cookie really and Hurst will go they, down. They lost that one. Because yeah, it felt like Doge died very early, in that, but it seemed like, um... It was the way they held back. They sort of balled up. Um, yeah. And, and the first person to something. collapse instantly died. And then... Oh, yeah, weird. Lock, you'll live. Holy shit. Lock, if he hadn't strafed there, he would have just perished. Absolutely. I think Lock's lagging. Look at him. Oh, yeah. And Doge is disconnected. And there's... Yeah, okay. Is this quick server? There's the unpause. Yeah. Yeah, this is quicks. It looks like people are getting DDoS, man. Uh, dude, everyone's home at the moment. Can you imagine the strain on, like... Look, the MBN is not what it should have been. Let's be real. Like, I imagine the current technological and network strains, like... Yeah, mm. oh, I can't imagine. I was promised, everyone, I was promised everyone I get to play games video tonight. games all day, but if, if, my, if it's going to compromise my ping and my internet, then why even live? Yeah, I know, right? Everyone has to get used to, like, the neat lifestyle now. Fortunately, Streamers Zealand, just laughing the... at the entire world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of the few people in New Zealand that actually has internet, though, so it's not so bad. Yeah, you had decent internet, like, early on there. And New Zealand had, oh, nutty internet. Even I've eons that, ago. that gigabit, bruh. Gigatel. Oh, we're alive. Okay. So... My HUD's been Tiny screwed again. Cable. Yep. Yeah, HUD's are screwed as well. Um, is this Uber... Mm -hmm. Elbow calling for them to go for their spy play? I think it's the sack here. Yeah. Down very high. Hub on in. <gasps> Are they gonna and get him? We'll see the surf out. In with, with the, you know, the air shots. Just enough. Yeah, yeah, just to pick up Yule as well. Yep. That's really clutch. And now they're gonna just work through. Yeah. You now all the game is pushing mid, 6v4. Happy feet just wanna get out. Scouts are forward though. Oh no, they drop him. This is I really like tragic. I really like that. It's now a better Uber. Yeah, they're gonna stay in now. I really think Cookie got left out to dry there, man. Like, when you have a massive player, like, double soldier like that, I think the the way to play it is just immediately go and pop on the guys on middle and then play a numbers advantage before the players uh, respawn. Like, mm. cook yeah, I don't know. Cookie just kind of got fucked a, fucked a bit there, unfortunately. Well, it did. It seemed like Locke was on him. It just it, seemed like he didn't expect the amount of damage. But let's keep going, because they've retained yeah. over and they've got picks, and so this should be very dominant. And with already down. That's no demo from all the gaming. Uh, the Uber's been forced at last, however. Like, they've used up the- yeah, equal 3v6. Yep. Redcoat goes down, but that might not be enough. This is gonna be another round to the happy feet, I think. Just cookie. Can't bait the chariot. Yeah, down's just gonna- oh, oh, gonna... Oh, okay. the, That taunt was almost. Almost. Did you, yeah. uh... You, you notice as soon as they get you know, those, those crucial picks on the defenders, especially the Medic, they immediately post up on the, the grassy side with a lot of cover and a lot of high ground. And they can just mm. play that, um, that heal and Medic, the heal advantage here. It required. Uh, do you mean a middle? No, that last push. After they wiped, uh, pretty much wiped lock and stuff, they immediately took the left area and played that heal advantage and grinded out the numbers sort of thing. Mm, which, mm. Is, which is key, I think. It's the way just to, to make sure it's equal. Yeah, that's fair. A little bit more energetic this middle. Uh, I should really likes poking right. Oh, that's Elmo this time. He's gonna get caught by Doge for it. We'll see the counter soldier bomb in here. The team's playing very, very systematic. Ooh, oh, man. down completely dumpstering her, but he'll get caught out as well. You'll live. Is he gonna get locked? Oh, he's fine. Ooh. Oh, rocks. good defense by Silver, but it's not enough. Yeah, look, he's still do this. Look, they're forced. That's Dude. at least okay. That's not the worst thing out of that mid third. You know, all the gamers, but no, it, you, 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 you would be feeling good. man. If I if I had got a pick on the red team there, I would be screaming at my team to just like slow it down and just not be. But they <laughs> they had they had the advantage, but they just I think they overcommitted there, and then the uh, it worked out for them. But yeah, Lau didn't need to pop. That's that's the one mistake out of that. But look, they're still winning the mid. They're still like. Dealing like, with soldiers yeah. and getting what I'm the advantage. I think Nog had that mid, and they they lost it just by over like feeding into enemies, being a bit too efficient. Where they really should just slow it down and keep grinding out the mid fight. Yeah, 
And so yeah, as, that's as, a, a, as a result, they fed, and then now look at the uh, the losing the initial losing team of it. They've got two points now, and I think they have a substantial overhead, which you might see translated into a cap. 92 to 70. Lock will get if they're not quick. Hopefully they Aisho pressure through. If Elmo just goes on point at the right time. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna convert. No, they're not. No, it's just a sack. I don't think no, they thought yeah. it was ad. They or they didn't want to push off thirty percent. Wait, no, they would have pushed. If they knew it was thirty, they would have pushed. There's there's no risk here. Eight men, two rounds up. That's dead. Honestly, even if they did they though, for, you can make uh, the argument yeah. that you don't need to do anything because you're the guys with two capture points ahead of them. Exactly. In two, in two yeah. rounds. You can just, you know, work your initial advantages. No, all the gamers have to do a lot here. This is a, this is a thing that Coffee Club you know, rather Happy Feet have no issue with. Like, when um, they have an advantage, they're happy to sit around and do absolutely jack fuck all and just, like, play up clock and make the enemies, um... This is ha sick. yeah, this is no all the gamers push. Yeah, they're on it's the It's slightly disgusting, but this, yeah, that's the thing, right? Down on the spy class, uh... Hurts I think spy, the spy is really underrated, well. yeah. Yeah, Hertz is gonna try to go for a counter pick. Oh, oh my gosh! He's so close to touching them. Did you s Yeah, oh he's just got it in. I think Dan da, will get da, this. Da, da. They just need to keep da, the pressure on. Hmm. Where's Hertz, however? No idea. Oh, he swapped off. Interesting. He's uncloaking. He's walking forward. He's No. Oh my god, he's mm, He's looking like oh a spy man. He's looking <laughs> like a spy. Man, so close. That's that was really half a down. I really think his team had to help him out a bit more with the distraction. Yeah, there wasn't much spam from Happy Feet though, but I guess they don't want to risk losing a player. Maybe yeah. that's like just a pu oh come oh, on, no, no. man, I should us. If I were down there, I would have um, disguised as a demo man so I could say the N word, and that might have changed it a bit. Uh, uh, I don't know if it works that way, man. The French don't have a pass. I disagree. Regardless, we're gonna Regardless. see. Uh, we'll see the, the same thing. out here by all the gamers. They're gonna work forward. Ah, he got there the we go. He, got the he goes up spy again. He gets the backstab. That's it, man. That's the round. Rip lock. That's the round. That might he's be got, game. I think Three rounds watching in my four demos, bro. Look at Aisha. I'll just completely ignore the sentry. I'll just cap. Oh no, he doesn't actually. <laughs> he gets blasted by it. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, damn. I think this is gonna. I I wasn't expecting this out of Snake Water. I, I think all no, the gamers bad. have tilted a little out of our uh, bagel. Well, listen, we should talk about this because I think that um, one of the key advantages of the red team, uh, Happy Feet, is their composure. They, I think, the blue team is a lot more prone to that sort of tilt. Yeah, they, that's reasonable. I, I'm not saying they are tilting necessarily. But they, I think they do crumble a bit harder under pressure when they're not having that much fun. Happy Feet have, yeah, their their play has been really, really structured here. I don't think you know, all the gamers have been playing bad, and there hasn't been any obvious signs of like feeding or or what you'd usually see out of a tilt, you know. But you don't know their comms. They're so, all they'll all play tight and technical, like. Yeah. So check out that. Move. But Happy Feet like... are just tech more. Yeah, that was just yeah. a Giga Sack while Aishawa retains over the block. So we, we ought to see these guys push back into second, I think, before the blue team's able to defend and capture it. But maybe they're a bit too slow? They're only on second now, yeah. There's a two player set up here on second. This oh, is and a very, force! A very unfortunate Ooh. force, to be honest. I don't think Lau. I think they thought the entire team was there. Oh, this is actually it was just a problem Hertz now. And Silvo. Cause they, That's they, a really good play. Right? Because Hertz and Silvo stay forward. And they think, yeah, but they pop out bats, not correct. We're gonna see the pressure here. Down will go down. Oh, we see the red coat bomb. Happy Feet playing really aggressive for a team that's about whoa, three rounds up, but yeah, yo. I, I mean, they haven't got much to lose at this point. Honestly, yeah, exactly. You can take this risk. You can jump your demo man in. It works out most of the time. And it gets a, a nice five on Asher. Yeah, I think. Silver gets down in exchange. Silver goes down. Um, but Happy Feet are just gonna start pushing grass here. Hertz gets cleaned up. Good position by Elmo oh, and Lau there. Lau and really good. Yeah, yeah Lau just doesn't back up. He plays around his players. Creates that triangle around himself. 
and you just it's can't die there. Oh, they don't know though. They don't know. No, all the gamers are on mid. Cookie picks up Reco. But the feeling's now. way too caught out. But they have charge. Forty percent block. Look at the body block. Oh, the one versus chariot. I'd almost go for the scouts then. Man. <gasps> if no. you trust yourself, like you could, because you're not gonna get med if med's already in sore. Or like, you... it's a hard choice, hard call. I think the, I think the mistake was from um, the demo of the soldier not surviving. They should just wait for locks. Uh, for Lao's Uber rather than this fight. And we should have to take a solo there. That's not. I agree. I that's yeah. Spot. Actually, the fact that they fought that mid at all, because Lao had time to get out. I think teams are, yeah, they're both trying to just pressure now. I think teams are leaning more on their instincts than any set calls. Happy Feet are probably pretty confident that they've got this. However, if this isn't enough from down, Lau. Lau clutch it, please. Lau. No, he's not. Nice, Andrew. Two minutes, two rounds. Two minutes, 30, two rounds. Do you think we'll see Lock still in the crits? Like, let's be honest, this is, this is pretty unfeasible. When, I don't mm, think it's going to happen. You've got, but... okay. Technically, there's like a five... Five second band. Oh, that like they've looks got like five seconds above. It is crits. Yeah, they're just gonna stay crits. All right, yeah. Hertz is immediately forward. Enrith giving absolutely no respect across point. That I show is gonna work through. Happy feet are here on point now. We'll see the bombs in. Hertz goes down. Oh no! All the game is immediately across. They don't. They're not able to pick up I show. Enrith will go down. But they're just gonna keep pressing. I think they have Scout to go crits on them enough. immediately. Like, oh, don't get the mid. Seventy percent. That's an oh. Doge with the... Oh, he went from window, didn't he? He got the 3k. Yep. Oh, that's so nice. 80%? Nice. Nice bow from Locke. Just has to keep going. Supporting his scout. Going. They... Is this going to be a comeback? I'm very doubtful, but oh. it, it is feasible now, I think. I think they have to be going to last. Right now. Like... Yeah, they're, all, they're walking forward now. Top left. Crits is going to make it interesting. Lock's dallying a bit. They have a minute Dude, 20. They're, they're they need to be capping now. No, they're taking too much. No, Lock, what are you doing? Don't bow the demo. Go. They don't have time. Down will go down. They're critting in through with the Give demo. Give to a scout. Give One to a minute scout. eight. Okay, they get to. They go point. Mm, exactly one minute to cap one Bro. round on Snake. I don't know whether that's doable. I think Based it on... can be done. It's just very unlikely. No, it's say... based on the size of the map. I think Snake's 110 or 115. 150 what? Like oh, a minute 15. Like yeah, minimum. I don't think this is doable. Nah, yeah. probably not. My no, cool I mean, was going up, but yeah, and it's still just as forward across point. He'll go down though. Aggressive soldier bomb. Dojin hurts go down. Yep. Happy Fate's gonna win this round. Yeah, Happy Fate's gonna win Snake Water 4 3. So that's the overall 2 0 then? Yeah, 2 0 for Happy Feet against all the gamers. Right. Round 7, damn! That's not what you'd expect. Really, really impressive. For this map, I, I would have given it to um, Happy Feet, to be honest. I think they have a. I think they're a bit better at this map, to be honest. Yeah, look, they play that perfectly. Apart from that one forward Elmo Uber, but I think at, at that point they were just. It pushed it all costs. Kind of dead time, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, what run what down the clock. What do call it? Shit time, I forget. Ah, like uh, uh, no, it's a vendor's, um, this is the win zone, and then once it, the time is over, it's the impossible zone. Right. Where well, you just meme and you run, uh, heavy and stuff. Uh, I have won a golden cap with Jack going engineer for, like, 26 minutes. Uh, I Andrew said golden Jack. cap, it was disgusting, yeah. Well, who, it's mean, the slowest, like, Jack's a big single troll. push you could imagine. Not unlike you, hey. Anyway, if we look at these stats, okay, Enrith, Enrith, like, putting in the hurt, 9.6k 9. damage. What's that DP as DPM? 285. And then uh, Redcoat at 260. And then Doge. Yeah, Doge just put out a lot of damage that game. 250, playing far far above bar than I think what you'd... Could you um, Steam message me the stats now? Because I can actually crash my game. Oh, <laughs> of course. Uh, one sec. You, yo, just go onto Logs TF. Regardless. I don't know how. You are not this hopeless at this. I get Spain to do all this stuff for me. Anyway, I show them following red coat for Happy Feet here at okay. uh, 240 DPM. Um, if we look at kills, red coat 
top frag, 24 to 12. Uh, taking basically the same amount of damage that he dealt. Um, Aisho also, you know, Aisho, Elmo, and Redcoat basically dying not... They all died about 12 times. So that means... Okay, that's really weird, right? Uh, it is a bit peculiar. The, Down and Yule died 26 and 20 times. Yep. And Elmo, Redcoat, and Aisho all died exactly 12 times. Which means they lost 12 engagements in that entire map, right? Yeah, I think the major difference... That means they played exactly how they wanted. Yeah. They had their soldiers aggressive, their combo was basically perfect. Yeah, pretty clean to me. Silvo and Cookie, exactly same... Yeah, exactly same damage, frags. Yeah, really interesting uh, showing here from Happy Feet. We I, also I do see... think they just had a... I think it's about the mids. To be this map is really all about the mids, because the, the team that wins the mids is so... It's very, very likely to win the round just due to the, the flow of the map. It's very... Uh, it's quite hard to push out from last, I find, on this one. Yeah, for sure. And like, Snakewater make... Lost is... I had to think about it. Um, when you look at something like Reckoner, or even Sunshine, like the hut on snake water the big hut where soldiers sit yeah that's last for most maps that's the point for most maps mm. it, it's a slow map um i was really impressed by doja's play there even though no other gamers didn't win as well the way that uh he'd be able to catch any scout that tried to pressure him on top on mids was really impressive um enrith's putting out the damage as he always does but yeah, not enough. Happy Feet able to clutch it out, which means they'll end up versing Butterfly Effect in the, uh, yeah, upper bracket finals. Should be an easy game. And then I think, as well this week, Thunderbirds and MG Zombies still have to play, yeah. And whoever wins against that, that'll decide fourth place. Mm. Prem definitely getting unseated somewhat. This has been one of the closest seasons I think I've seen in a while. It's very exciting, especially this top three teams I they I think like like it could go any way to be honest half the time. Hmm. Yeah, it's um usually we've had even even recently, you know, this it's just first two, but oh it's been very, very interesting. Uh we will go on to interviews I think. We've got Elmo and Redcoat here. Hey fellas. Hello. Hello, hello boys, hello. what up? Lachlan Congrats and, on and your Lachlan. Win. is that right? Thank you. Yes. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Pretty good. Happier than if we had lost, honestly. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Um, now, now, your performance on Bagel implied you sort of knew you were going to win it. Like, you'd, you'd seem to have practiced it more. Um, however, were you expecting to win Snake Water? I mean, I feel we were way more confident on Snake. Honestly, if, if you... Rocky probably knows more about this than you, but if we were a quite crunch <laughs> team on Bagel earlier in the week. Really? Okay. Not, not going to lie, kind of may have stolen some Rocky strats, no. uh, as embarrassing as it is. You but, played I mean, amazing on Bagel, Yeah, ba I mean, we, we basically figured out what we need to do and not didn't play like bitches, so it worked out well, you guys especially in the first two rounds. Yeah, yeah down sure. and stayed up all night last night watching STVs and made all yeah. these like infographics and stuff. I don't oh, no shit. That's yeah, pretty shit. pretty epic, man. I mean, For what can you do? You're, you're the best, Rocky. So why not take from the best? Yeah, I'm, I probably am the very best pocket scout. In New I, Zealand, I think that the, the main world. thing is like Loud didn't die a lot. Like if, a lot of the time, we get random deaths and forces because we're not playing with him. That kind of thing. Like I think he died like four times on both maps or something. So, I mean, four when times you're... on Bagel, four times on Snake, yeah. Yeah, so when your med doesn't die, you know, it's pretty hard to lose. Could you guys true, um, true. talk a bit about what was your thought process on the, the mids for both maps? But we'll start off with Bagel. Like, what are you trying to achieve? Just, like, controlling height, I guess. We're not doing anything aggressive. We're just seeing if anyone feeds and doing that. I guess that's kind of, generally speaking, how our team thrives, I think. Trying to get um, that numbers out and play the attrition. Yeah, just, you know, try and make them make a mistake. Hmm. That's so basically sort of... a, lot of, a lot of the time it was just we got that one pick and then on a map like Bagel you can kind of just run over them with that. I noticed that you guys, when you have the Uber on Bagel, you're very fond of taking this very aggressive uh, denial Uber into them to try and 
wreak havoc. Yeah, where yeah. do you think we like that one from, champ? Yeah, this should be illegal. I'm going to get some patents on this stuff. <laughs> you can't copy my retard scout. It's too late. Similar it's similar happened. deal on Snakewater, it would seem. You got both teams really playing that sort of slow mid. Not really a whole lot of sacks going on, just like catching people out of position, getting the pick, and then really trying to, uh, you know, take control of that advantage to, to the full extent. Yeah, well, a lot of the time, like, one of their soldiers wanted to take either our kitchen or top left, and we basically just dicked them if they did that. Like, um, Redcoat would either shoot them in one of those spots and then one of us would just clean them like a solly would jump him instantly or i would go kill him in kitchen that happened at least like four of the mids i think that we won hmm. and so then it was like 5v6 and basically same as bagel as long as you don't shoot the bed you win those hmm. i noticed on bagel um doge and hertz would often play either side of the house however uh down usually sat in that top right little uh what would you call it perch is that a specific strat, or do you think that... Well, generally, it seemed to have worked out. Um, as well, how do you feel you guys will go fighting Butterfly Effect? Yeah. Uh, pretty good, I think. Um, we're, we're kind of cringing lately, because we've been playing, like, uh, especially Bagel. Like, we were really not confident on Bagel um, this week, because we'd had really bad scrim results. And like today was actually the first time we'd won Bagel, and we did well, it I quite mean, convincingly. Yeah, I mean they they, yeah, didn't carry, they, like did, they lost their carry after the first map, so it was pretty pretty chill after that. Raze is our key player. I think everyone knows that he's yeah. much better than you, so it's not surprising. I don't deny it. I don't deny it. <laughs> um, how did what did you guys think of the pauses as well? I mean, Cause... the first one was definitely tactical because you know Doge didn't. They pro they probably got out their notepads and started you know talking <laughs> it because Cookie was like one for twenty four or something after the first two rounds. <laughs> Pretty typical score from him. So I, I think they went back to the drawing board. Mm. No, no, I mean, what? Not much you can do about that if your internet shit or your dad comes into your room to beat you. There's nothing you can do about that. I kind of want to talk classic about classic Australian life. I kind of want to talk about the last pushes a little bit. It seemed like you guys had much more success breaking against the typical last defense uh, with, you know, coming in with a, a full uber ad than the other team. What do you guys attribute that to? Our snake last pushes? Yeah, with ad on their typical defense. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't even remember many of the last pushes, to be honest. I remember, like, one of them, we walked in really far before we used, and then we yep. just killed everyone. And that was just them not forcing us properly. Uh, there was like another time where we went really fast under while we were still capping and caught Enrith because he was like forward spamming the under door. Mm. Um, and that's, I guess, just didn't expect us to go so quickly. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we really did anything different. It's just we either got in quickly and like Redcoat said, we didn't get forced or we got a fair bit of time on the point. Or like we got a really early pick, like a good demo yeah. pick or something. Yeah. Very cool. In in regards to the team environment, like what was the mumble sitting like? Were you guys very composed? Honestly, yeah, we were really happy, especially after Bagel, because we were like on like, we didn't expect to win the map, so we were like really happy. We kind of saw it as almost like a write off because it's we had such terrible results on it earlier in the week. But like after we won, we were pretty happy and then like going into Snake, Snake we Snake was a bit spicy at the end, but we, we kept our cool and didn't shit the bed that last minute and easy win. Yeah. Very nice. I'm pretty satisfied. All right. Um, any? I think we'll move on to shoutouts. Any other questions, Rocky? Or yeah. No. All right, Elmo. Any shoutouts you want to give? Shout out to the team. Epic victory tonight, and keen for the finals. Everyone, shout out to Sean for his epic stats. Everyone should check him out. He's a big nerd. And I love him for it. Shout out to Sam for not playing Borderlands for me and waiting till it comes out on Steam and now we have it on fucking Epic. It's a rubbish game, bro. I don't even bother. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. And uh, shout out Dave for being the enemy and being on the wrong team and not getting a first place medal this season. Alright. Iraqi, any shout outs? Oh, just my boys, I suppose. Uh, the butterfly effect. We expect to win this season, dominantly. Yeah, we'll good luck with that, Joe. Redco? As long as people don't steal all our strats, that is. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, no one's no one's worthy of my shout out. Fair enough. All right. Um, yeah. Thank you to Core on production as well. Uh, shout outs to Rocky for casting with me. Um, 
somewhat last minute. Uh, yeah, that's right. worked out well. I, I thought we like three times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I saw a couple of times, but don't once worry, again, I it's I Australia. Swear far more than it's hard that, to not do. Yeah, that's why you don't cast anymore. These guys I'm are literally the only bro. caster man, except when I'm playing. Are you serious? Yeah, true. You're, you know, you're leaned upon. Thank you, Elmo. Yeah, shoutouts to Elmo for casting. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Game, fellas. Uh, yeah, shoutouts as well to my team. Um, Von and Max and Seinfeld and a couple other people uh, who know who you are. Um, yeah, and shoutouts to Bonk's team as well. Uh, they're sick and we're going to beat them, I think. All right. Um, this has been yeah, Oz Fortress season twenty-seven. Uh, this has been week seven essentially. Know all the gamers first. Happy feet. Happy feet taking three-one on Bagel, and then four-three on Snakewater. Good night. Bye bye.